Alright then gang, so right here in the home component we're outputting a list of blogs, right? And we're doing that directly inside this home component. Now, if you think about it, if you're building a real blog website, you might have the list of blogs in various places on your website. It might be on a home page, it might also be on a search page or a tag page or a category page. There's going to be several different areas which is going to use the same logic essentially where we're cycling through the blogs and outputting a blog preview for each one, right? So if we were to do that in our project, we're not going to do that, but if we were to do that, then we'd essentially be repeating this code over and over again in different components for different pages eventually. So sometimes what I like to do is where I have pieces of components or bits of template that might be reused in different positions or different places in the website, I like to make that bit of template into its own reusable component. So for example, if I was to make a component called blog list, then I could drop that blog list component in any other components in the project. So if I was to have a category page later on, I could just get that blog list component and drop it in. If I had a tag page, then I could get that blog list component and drop it into the tag component. That makes sense, right? So we're just reusing the same logic over and over again, and we don't have to therefore repeat all of this. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to create a blog list component. And apart from being reusable as well, we're going to see later on how we can pass in different data into the reusable component every time we use it. And we'll do that in the form of props. So for example, on the home page, we might list all of the blogs and show a preview for all of the blogs, starting with the latest one. But on a search page or a search component, we might only show the blogs that match the search term. So the data is going to be different. The structure is the same, but the blogs that we use are going to be different. So we can pass in data into these external components as well in the form of props, and we'll see those shortly. But first of all, let's create an external component called blog list to house all of this logic or all of this template. So then let's start by creating a new file called bloglist.js. And then inside here, we need a stateless functional component, hit tab, and we'll call this blog list like so. All right, so the template is just gonna be the template that we have currently right here. So let's grab it from here. I'm gonna cut it. And then down here, I'm going to first of all, create a div with a class of blog hyphen list like so and I'll place it inside here like so. So we're still cycling through the blogs and we're still outputting a bit of template for each one. So let me save this and now we want to nest this blog list component inside the home component right here. So I'm going to say blog list and notice I can click on this and it's going to auto import it for me at the top. So let me close this off now. And there is a problem with this, and we'll see that in a second, but let me save it and try and preview it, and we get an error, and it says blogs is not defined. So that's because in the blog list component, we're trying to map through the blogs. So we're using data here, but it doesn't know what blogs is because the blogs data is not defined in this component. We can't just use any data in another component where it's defined right here because it can't reach that, okay? so. There's a couple of different ways around this. The first option is to redeclare all of this data inside this component instead of home. So we delete it from here and we place it over here instead. The second option is to use props whereby we pass this data from this home component into the blog list component. Now I'll be using that second option props for three reasons. First of all, it's going to make our blog list component more reusable and we'll see exactly how later on. Second, it allows me to still use this data in the home component later on if I need it in the future because the data is still going to be declared here. And third, it allows me to show you how to use props. All right. So props are a way to pass data from one component, a parent component into a child component. So this is the parent component and this is the child component right here. So we want to pass the blogs data into the blogs list component. 
and the way we do that is by making a property name on this tag so you can call it what you want i'm going to call it blogs since that's what we're passing and this is going to be a dynamic value so curly braces and the value is going to be blogs like so so we just pass that in and now this is being passed into the blog list component as a prop this right here is a prop so we need to receive it inside the blog list component and we get access to an argument inside this function inside the component called props so now this property right here blogs is going to be on this props object so i could access the blogs from it so let me do this i could say const blogs is equal to props dot blogs like so and what i'm going to do is just log that to the console so i'll say console.log and in fact we'll log out the props as a whole as well and blogs all right so let's come over here and inspect this notice first of all if i refresh everything's still working because we're now passing the blogs into this component and we're grabbing the blogs right here storing them in this constant and then we're cycling through that constant at the bottom so this works now as it should but let's go over here and see what's in the console so this top one right here this is the props object and you can see it has a blogs property on it which is an array and down here this is the blogs themselves all right so any props that we send through into a component are attached to this object which we automatically get as an argument in the component and we can access them now we can pass multiple props if we want to so i could pass in another prop for example called title like so and set that equal to some kind of string now it can be a dynamic value which is stored in some kind of variable but i'm just going to pass in a string value so the title is going to be all blogs and then what i could do is access that as well from the props i could say const title is equal to props dot title all right so let me delete this console.log we don't need that anymore now what i'd like to do is output this title above the blogs so i'll do an h2 and then inside there we'll do the title so if i save this now and preview we can see we get the title as well and if we change that just add an exclamation mark then it's going to update so then that's how we can make a component to take in props data and then use that data inside that component now i said before it makes this component now this blog list component more reusable and it does we can now use this blog list component anywhere in our application whether that's in the home component or in a different page component later on and i'm going to demonstrate that in the next tutorial but before we finish this video i want to show you one more thing if we go to the blog list right here we can see we're accepting this props object and then we're grabbing the different properties from that props object right here and storing them in these variables now an easier way to do this is to destructure the props directly inside these parentheses so i could comment these things out and i could get rid of this and I could destructure from the props directly by saying what properties I want from them. So I could say I want the blogs and also the title. And now we have these two properties available to us inside this component. So this should still work. I can delete this entirely, save it and check this out. It's still going to work if I refresh.